I think this one will speak for itself. Every time we went through a national or international tragedy, my impulse was always to call Fred and put him on the radio. What shall we tell our children about the things that are in the news that seem so difficult, so tragic? Pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista McCollum, teacher in space. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Challenger, go and draw up. How do we put it to children so they will understand? And part of Fred's answer was always to tell children that we, the parents, would take care of them. I just don't know what good these are gonna do. And I just remember saying, Fred, how can you say that? When the horror of 9-11 really hit him, I, I think it was a real eye-opener. He was realizing that it was just so big. It's always gonna be an ongoing struggle to overcome evil. Okay. No matter what our particular job, especially in our world today, we all are called to be tikkun olam, repairers of creation. I call this one fearless neighbor, and by fearless, I don't mean not feeling fear. I mean not acting in fear. I never watched Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood as a kid, so I didn't know much about it until I saw Won't You Be My Neighbor in theater last year. And let me tell you, that is a man of true character. The gentleness of his show conceals not just the importance of it, but the bravery behind it. How many parents do you know who are afraid to talk about certain things with children because they're difficult subjects? The problem with that is it doesn't remove the child's need to process that subject. It only removes their ability to process it correctly. Mr. Rogers understood this. A plea not to leave the children isolated and at the mercy of their own fantasies of loss and destruction. The documentary also mentioned that some people have criticized Mr. Rogers because they think telling children they're special encourages them to be lazy. He didn't say, if you want to be special, you're going to have to work hard, and now all these kids are growing up and they're realizing, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Rogers lied to me. Well, telling children they're special is a way of acknowledging their unique value as individuals. God made you special, and he loves you very much. And Mr. Rogers was very explicit that he intended it as an expression of love. And what that ultimately means, of course, is that you don't ever have to do anything sensational for people to love you. Laziness is a lack of discipline. You don't teach discipline by withholding love. That is frankly psychopathic. I didn't need Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood as a child because I was very blessed with parents who gave me everything I needed. But that doesn't stop me from recognizing and appreciating what Mr. Rogers did for so many other children. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of all this. And if you liked this, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.